Hey everybody, and welcome back for part two of our Unify Talk series. Now that we have our initial phone set up, we can move on to setting up a third party device to connect to the Unify Talk system. But first, let's cover why we would want to do that in the first place. So, at the time of recording, we are still suffering from the global chip shortage. Hopefully, you are lucky enough to be in a future where chips and options are abundant. But if not, you may need to get creative with your SIP options. You may come across some cost-effective deals on sites like eBay, PCLiquidations.com, or even Amazon. Another reason you may want to use a third-party phone would be to give yourself some flexibility in the event that you no longer want to be a part of the Unify ecosystem. This is the reason why I will be using the Polycom VVX500 during this video. It is fully customizable and can also work with Microsoft Skype for Business, which by the way still exists for business uses in some SIP capabilities. Okay, so now that you have your phones selected and you have your user accounts set up, let's discuss how to configure the phones. You will need to know the username, password, and server address, but don't worry. These are all easy to find. In fact, the username is just the extension number and the server address is the IP of your Unify firewall or router. Unless you are an older version on the Unify Talk firmware, you will need to do a little bit of command line work. We will need to SSH into the Unify device to find out what the password is and I'll walk you through that process now. Okay, so first, we will need to log into our Polycom VVX500 or whatever your phone of choice is that you will be using. You will need to access the manual configuration settings. Currently, my Polycom VVX500 is still using the default password of 456, so we will type that in for now. Okay, so this is the landing page on the Polycom VVX. Your phone may look a little different from this. From here, we will click on Simple Setup since the configuration is just a basic setup on the phone. Once you get to this menu, go ahead and click on the SIP line configuration and we will start to configure the specific settings for the device. If you have information already in here, let's clear that out and go ahead and get a command terminal open on your preferred flavor of SSH. Okay, so once you've done that, we can go ahead and prepare you for the SIP information. If you know your server address and port information, you can go ahead and enter that now. Most of this is going to be standard, and in my case, the port is 5060 for the SIP server, as well as 5060 for the SIP outbound proxy server. If you are using the Unified Gateway, in which case this is probably why you are watching this video, then your server address will be the same as the Unified Dream Machine Pro or Unified Gateway, whichever you're using with the Unified Talk console. Okay, so now we're going to open our terminal on the Mac. As mentioned, you can follow along with any SSH application such as PuTTY, TerraTerm, or something similar. Since I'm currently using my Mac, we're gonna do this in terminal. So if you're using terminal, you can just follow along with the same command line information. Okay, so now we're going to type SSH dash the device username, which is usually root unless you've changed it and then the at symbol and then the IP address of your Unified Dream Machine Pro or the UDM device that you're logging into and then hit enter. At this point, it will ask you for your password. You have to enable this in the Unified Dream Machine as it is disabled by default. So you'll want to enable and set a password for this, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so the first thing you will want to do is open up your portal for your Unify setup. And then down at the bottom, you're gonna click on System Settings, and then you're gonna be presented with a menu showing you General Settings. You are gonna want to go down to Advanced on the left-hand side, and then you'll see right here, it has your console name. You will need to make sure that SSH is turned on and then it's going to ask you to set a password. This password can be pretty much whatever you want it to be for now, 
So you can set it for a strong one if you plan to leave SSH on, but I don't. You will probably only be accessing the command line if you're using a third party device. Unless you know what you're doing past this point, you probably won't need to leave SSH enabled or use the command line any further. So once you do that, it should save and replicate everything over to the console. Then you can go ahead and log out of this menu. And again, once you're done, you can go ahead and turn SSH off if you prefer. Okay, so now that you have typed in your password, you should be presented with a screen similar to this. If you are on the UDM Pro, it will say, Welcome to Unified Dream Machine. Next, you will need to type unified OS space shell and hit enter. You will be prompted to type in a command line that starts with root at UBNT. At this menu, you will type in fs underscore cli space dash x space quotation user underscore data space your extension number at talk.com space P-A-R-A-M space password in quotation and hit enter. You should then be presented with your password for your phone. Copy that password and now we can go back to the phone's interface. Now we're going to type or paste our copy password in the authentication password field and populate the rest of the SIP line identification information. So this part is important, at least on the Polycom VVX. Under display name address, in the authentication user ID, you will put the same information. You will put the extension number in the field for all three of these lines. Now for the label on the other hand, you can put whatever you prefer. Generally, this would be the user identification or name you want to show on the phone. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and go with Jim Doe. And now we're ready to hit save and let the phone go ahead and cycle so that we can finish its programming. As you can see on the phone, it's already taken over the name of Jim Doe and it's now on and ready to receive calls since we've gotten a green check by our phone. And now we're going to take care of this last part here by changing out the default password. This will get rid of the exclamation point up at the top next to the date and time. Okay, now we can log into the phone with our new password and hit submit. And everything on the phone side, as you can see, is good to go. So we should be able to place a test call on the phone now. And there we go. Now we can see the phone is receiving incoming calls and ready for us to use it. Let's go ahead and walk through how to set up the voicemail as it may not be natively recognized by your third party phone. On the Polycom VVX, when you get the voicemail envelope or if you go to the call menu, you will see the messaging center. If you select connect down at the bottom to check your new voicemail, the device just rings and rings and rings. This is because the phone is the default configuration as far as the voicemail is concerned. And you won't be able to necessarily fix this through provisioning since the phone is not provisioned by the Unifall Talk setup. The Polycom VVX and most devices actually dial the extension by default to access the voicemail. And since the phone can't be provisioned automatically, it doesn't know where to dial. So how are you going to check voicemail, you may ask? It's actually rather simple once you know the trick to get the voicemail center up and running. Your phone has to be capable of doing URL dialing, which the Polycom VVX does by default. So the first thing you do is tap on the new call icon to start a new call. And this is the main reason why I wanted the Polycom VVX 500 series 
since it has a touch screen. Now that you're in the new call menu, you're going to press the URL key up at the top right of the screen. The screen should have a pop-up that says SIP with a semicolon. Now you're going to dial voicemail at talk.com into the touchpad. You have one new As you can see, now we're new being prompted to go through the new one. messages. Yesterday and we have full access to the voicemail yeah. system where we can make changes to the settings. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is log back into the Polycom VVX and from the home page, you're going to click on utilities. Click on the line configuration and here we can see the configure lines already in there. We're going to add a line key configuration. If you wanted to register this device like a receptionist phone, you'll want to add a second line registration to do this on this phone and you can click that here. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and go back where we have the option to set a static BLS. Okay, so now we're going to add a label and we can put voicemail. Then here we're going to put the same address we put earlier, voicemail at talk.com. And the type selected should be normal and then we're going to go ahead and hit save. You can see it says it's successfully saved and we now have a button here on the phone that says voicemail. This takes us straight to the voicemail and that's it. Now you can dial your voicemail from the phone's home screen. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I post new content. In the next video, we're going to cover setting up video calls over SIP on just about any device that you can get Unified Talk to register on. This includes tablets, laptops, as well as phones, that have video calling capabilities. I will also share a use case with how I think it could be utilized in a small business infrastructure. See you guys on the next one. Later.